party full of pussies. Now we're in for a fight. Fuck it, Ellie. It's time for the big balls to dance. Just like the great party in the world. We the man will enter the arena and punch a hand-to-hand combat for nothing more than the enjoyment of the rich and powerful. Where the fuck did that come from? I don't have to be my boss. Can you be a commander to learn? Conflict. 
Our age is not different than any other. Come, Jack, how many countries do you know that are truly at peace? You know who this guy is, Jack? He's the one asshole. Get it? One asshole to rule them all? I didn't realize there was gonna be a pop quiz. What's your point? The first Death Watch games took place 2,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. The Fertile Crescent then? No, nothing but rocks and sand. War had been the way of life there for years. Weary of the bloodshed, the leaders from each camp chose champions to fight on their behalf. To the victor, when they rule of law, that was the beginning. So they realized the price of power is blood, and they wanted to cut costs. Precisely. Thus began the games. At times the games are fought to decide the fate of a country. Other times it is merely to determine the outcome of a feud. But the goal remains the same. The settlement of conflict for the minimum price in blood. That is why the games exist. So, and what's this all about, huh? What fate does it decide? You telling me an entire city and everyone in it is the minimum price for this game? The world is controlled not by the masses, but by the hands of a few. It is an undeniable fact, and it has always been so. That all men are created equal is a myth. The people are nothing but weeds. They're overlords, gardeners. Only when the weeds are cut, may flowers bloom. From all the fertilizer you're spreading, I'm guessing you're a gardener. You're a talented man. It's good to know some things don't change. Welcome back, Jack. It's good to be home.
Saved your ass. How about pointing that thing someplace else, huh? Guns make me nervous. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> thank you. You can thank me by getting up and coming over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. Look, I'm not a contestant. But if you don't hurry up, I am gonna shoot you. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I'll go with you. My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... <sighs> they sprayed this whole damn place with a virus. If you're not a contestant, why didn't you get sick? Why the hell are you still alive? cut off before we knew what was going on. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved citizens of Paragon City, lend me your ears. We have cut off all road and rail access to and from Jefferson Island. No one enters, no one leaves. We have also disabled your cellular devices, phones, and all internet connections. All satellite signals from the island will be jammed. You are our captive audience. Justice is an idea the weak cling to to legitimize their drab, peaceful existence. True justice can only be found when lives are at stake, especially one's own. I challenge you to seize the day, redefine justice in your own terms. Let the games begin! To those of you still wondering, this is a game of survival. Might makes right. It is the only law and your only chance if you wish to live through this. To those who do survive, you will not only win the right to live, but a substantial financial reward to the tune of $100 million. To participate in this game, you need only pick up a weapon, a pipe, a bat, a knife, anything will do. Then you need to kill someone. Family members and neighbors are a convenient place to begin. Ah, yes, one more thing. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you, 
will die within 24 hours. If you care to live longer than 24 hours, all you need do is indicate your willingness to participate in our game. Kill anyone and you will be given a vaccine. Suggest you act quickly. The virus incubation period varies by person. Some may suffer adverse effects much sooner than others. Ah, a case in point. Get back! He's hemorrhaging! Game. So who'd you kill, Doc? A patient? Damn it! I didn't kill anybody! I didn't develop symptoms because I took the vaccine they made. And I didn't kill anyone to get it. I stole it from someone who had. You? The virus got him before he was able to take it. <laughs> Your lucky day, isn't it? I've got an ID on your friend. Born in 1993 in Ausrain, Harmonia. Went to public high school. Majored in medicine at Berrigan State. Top of his class. The rest of his story checks out. So, guess we trust the doc. If you're not a contestant, who are you? Are you with some kind of rescue squad? There's gonna be a rescue, right? Why haven't they sent anyone yet? Because everyone's too busy running around with their heads up their asses to do anything. Sorry, but the cavalry ain't coming. The island's cut off completely. Spy satellites are jammed. All they know on the outside is that a terrorist group's taken over. Terrorists with lots of firepower and the balls to use it. So we're hostages. Targets, more like it. If I were you... I'd go find myself a good hole to hide in. What? You're not gonna get me out of here? Sorry, kid. I've got things to take care of. I don't help people. I kill them. 